Welcome to The Real Deal with Trisha Real. That's me, Trish the Dish. This astrological forecast is about the study of time as it's connected to nature and cycles. Some of the characters from my Zephram Gates books will be helping me with this report as well. That's for certain. Without our help, she'd be up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> Thanks, skeezer. So the week leading up to our new moon in Virgo on September 9th is quite a transition week. The first week of September, we are helped by a harmonious grand trine of planets and Earth signs. Saturn, the planet of form and structure, trines revolutionary Uranus and the Sun as well as Mercury. This will help ease the way with more practical matters and inspire innovative thinking and genius ideas that we will really want to make real. I'm Zephram's great aunt Gussie and I am full of genius ideas. The other night I dreamt I wrote a whole new version of The Hobbit, but uh, I think I was Tolkien in my sleep. Right. So Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, and Neptune, the planet of compassion, understanding, and dreams, are also making a harmonious trine in water signs, inspiring us to dream big. With these energies harmonizing, we may have elaborate fantasies and visions about how our future life could be better. I'm Beatrice Brigg, the head waitress over at the Stew and Chew in Havisville, and I definitely have fantasies of how my life and yours could be better. <laughs> I'll bet you do, Beatrice. <laughs> anyway... These harmonizing energies of Jupiter, Trine, Neptune can help you step into your dreams as though they're already happening. Feel the inspiration and empowerment of unlimited possibilities. I'm Geezer Fraggle, Great Aunt Gussie's boyfriend. <laughs> and in addition to being an expert fisherman, I'm also a bartender over at my bar, the Buccaneer's Barnacle. It was always a dream of mine to have a bar, so it warms my heart to see it all happening before my very eyes. Amazing things happen every day when I just show up. Yeah, the other day, a pun, a play on words, and a limerick all walked into the bar. No joke! Okay, <laughs> so to continue... Because there were so many planets in apparent retrograde motion throughout the summer, our efforts to move forward were thwarted by backpedaling. This was all great for strategizing and reconsidering things, planning, editing, revisiting old themes, resurrecting old wishes, and things like that. But there was not a lot of apparent forward momentum. Yeah, so now that Mercury is finally out of retrograde, everything is your own fault. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Gussie. <laughs> anyway, Mars went direct on August 27th and will be traveling through the last degrees of Capricorn until September 12th. In this time period, we will be diving deeply into our desires for great achievement. Although this sounds good, there are challenges as Mars makes dynamic squares to Uranus and Venus. The Mars-Uranus square is one of the most volatile and unpredictable aspects in astrology. It's been going on pretty strongly since May of 2018. While it can be very dynamic, we need to take special care of our nervous systems and our overall energy in order to stabilize some of these frenetic vibes. I am Dr. Melvin Moot, the science teacher over at the Fiddlesticks School for Alternative Thinkers with Unusual Abilities. You know, there are over seven trillion nerves in the human body. And it turns out that some people are capable of getting on every last one of them. Yes. So anyway, Mars square Venus can also be a mixed bag. 
Mars in Capricorn symbolizes passion for deep achievement, while Venus, at home in Libra, is seeking a harmonious balance. In a square aspect, these two energies represent competing challenges. Competing challenges reminds me of something. What does a boyfriend and mascara have in common? They both run at the first sign of real emotion. Not in all cases, Beatrice, but okay. The point is that the Mars-Venus square can add to relationship difficulty. Oh no, I tried to wear makeup to make myself feel better, but it only made things worse. Oh, don't worry about that. Do you know why the polygamist crossed the aisle? To get to the other bride. <laughs> Geezer, I don't think you're helping Beatrice feel any better. <laughs> what I will say about the Mars-Venus square is that despite the challenges, the energies could be an inspiration for more exhilarating passion. That sounds much better. For sure. <laughs> and with Uranus opposite Venus, anything can really happen. It can inspire radical disturbances in our intimate relationships, or it can bring a sparkling magnetic energy that starts you on a completely new and different track. The overall pattern forms a thing called a T-square, with the resolution pointing to nurturing energy that resides in your heart. You know what a ghost calls his true love? His ghoul friend. <laughs> In other news, dynamic yods and Thor's hammer aspects will now be focused towards Virgo energy. So we'll be decluttering and purifying our thinking. Greater focus on nutrition and having good clean fun will help resolve some of the larger dynamic challenges of this highly transitional time. Speaking of holistic, good, clean fun, something happened at the bar the other night. A young musical group came in. A C, an E flat, and a G walked into the Buccaneers' barnacle for a drink. But I had to show them the door. I said, sorry, we don't serve minors. <laughs> we'll also have a little more forward motion with Saturn slowly moving direct on September 6th. So by the new moon on September 9th, we will only have three outer planets and asteroid Chiron in apparent retrograde motion. This is a great relief as we'll begin to move forward more personally for a bit. Other energies are also shifting into new territory with Venus moving into Scorpio on September 9th and Mars moving into Aquarius on September 12th. The overall T-square pattern with Mars squaring Uranus and Venus will still be operating, but now it's shifting more clearly into fixed signs. Fixed signs are the signs that are smack dab in the middle of each one of the seasons. So we'll be more in the center of activity, dynamically connected to the hub of the wheel. The other day when I was visiting Geezer in his bar, a man walked in with a steering wheel down his pants. When I asked him why, he was equally perplexed and said, I don't know, but it's really driving me nuts. <laughs> so, while we may want to focus all of our energy specifically as we enter more clearly into this Virgo seasonal shift, Neptune in Pisces will be in opposition to the Sun and Mercury in Virgo. So, instead of writing technical manuals, Use the energy to allow your vivid imagination and your creative talents to flower. Did you hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers? Yeah, he will stop at nothing to avoid them. Right. <laughs> so allow the surreal and the sublime to help you distinguish between the real and the unreal in a dance of unfolding mystery. Cultivate your intuition and trust your creative impulses. Astrology doesn't say that something good or bad will happen. It only says where the planets are going to be. It helps us track cycles. 
What we do or don't do is what actually creates the events in our lives. Today is your opportunity to influence your future. So embrace how you feel in the present moment and move forward from there. So when something goes wrong in your life, just yell plot twist and move on from there. Stay tuned for future astrological reports through the Om Shala newsletter and on YouTube. Or if you want to support The Real Deal or Trisha's Zeph from Gates books, you can always do this by going to Trisha Reel's Patreon page at patreon.com backslash Trisha Reel. And you can buy the Zeph from Gates books at Amazon or at zephromgates.com. To help with the publishing costs of my third Zephram Gates book, please become one of my regular supporters at my Patreon page at patreon.com backslash Trisha Reel. Links provided below. And this completes The Real Deal with Trisha Reel.